what's going on shrewd stock squad today is tuesday march 23rd 2021 and this video is going to be for entertainment purposes only and in this video i'm going to be talking about the overall portfolio update because i made a lot of changes in this whole structuring i want to talk about somatica i'm going to talk about potential plays future plays a whole bunch of stuff um so stick around with the family here and i think you're gonna like what i have for you if you're new to this channel this is shrewd stocks where i show you my journey to one million dollars openly transparently uh no screen cropping out none of that bs you're not gonna find this anywhere else on youtube and you're gonna get to see me put my money where my mouth is all i ask is that you hit that like and subscribe button and then let's get into the video so let me show you this i'm sitting right now 141 and man this market i dipped today like what four percent man it was getting pretty low at some points too um but look so what ended up happening yesterday is first thing i want to address is the zometica stock okay first thing i want to address is that yesterday i made a mistake you know i made a mistake yesterday and i put in a limit order to sell on zometica and not a stop order you see what i'm saying it's, it's it makes a difference on it because basically when you decide so i'm just going to show you what i did at the mistake so you guys don't do this all right this was the mistake i made if you go here then to sell you see i did this stop limit order this one right there i did this this button what i should have done was the stop order itself because that will cash you out at the certain price the, the stop limit order it cashed me out at the price one of what the stock was at at the time when I put it in and that's why I messed up I, you know I had an exam yesterday I was in a rush in the morning and I just I, I clicked my way away I clicked my I wasn't really looking when I was uh, pressing I thought I read it right I made the mistake you know uh, like I said I keep it open and transparent look I messed up um, I'm sure you're gonna mess up at some point we've all done it um, I, I've been in the game for, for a long time it's just like I say, you can be in the game a hundred years and you're still going to find a mistake to make. You're always going to to do to do these things. I just should have been more careful in the morning and that was my error. So, other than that, since I'm on Zometica anyway, uh, let me get into this real quick. Z-O-M, Zometica. Remember, I called it last week. <laughs> I told you, I told you, $1.80 is one of its support levels. Now, here's the thing, guys. I'm, I'm out of the play right now. But remember what I told you? The next level of the support for this is going to be a dollar thirty. Now, if I were to get in on Zometica, if I were to do it, if you wanted to, you did your DD, you know, you actually want this long term. Because a lot of you guys do not want this long term. A lot of you guys are phonies. Quite honestly, you're phonies saying, "I believe in Zometica. I believe in Zometica." You know how many comments I see? Should I sell? Should I sell? Should I sell? <laughs> Go see the video two weeks ago when this thing was sitting around two two fifty. How many people? Yeah, Zometica all the way. It's a game changer. Come on. All right. That's why I keep saying do your DD before you even put your first penny. Do the due diligence. OK, the time to doubt your place is before that first penny goes in. Afterwards, you should you should have an idea and understand the risks and the rewards. That's my investment strategy. I keep telling you I'm not the smartest. I'm not the best. I'm not the richest or anything like that. What I what I do have, though, is risk to reward uh, ratio. That's my whole approach in investing is how can I optimize that? And that's what I look to do. So let me just get into what I what the new plays I've been doing here were. Neo, STPK, Palantir, and MP. I decided to make that cake analogy. I've been telling you how to look at your portfolio. You have a foundation, a middle layer, and a frosting. Foundation, middle, frosting. And so that's what I'm doing for, for so you guys have an idea and I can actually show you and, and do this. Because every time I tell you in the videos, do your own DD, do your, uh, like don't invest in, don't invest so much money in these plays. You guys end up doing some, some not, I don't want to say you guys like as a whole, there, there are some people, but even for me to read that one person is doing this and that I feel so bad, you know, like you guys are losing money and, and I, I feel really bad that's happening. So I want to give you guys an idea of how to perform some of this. So 50% of the money of mine is in these plays, Neo, SDPK, Palantir, MP, and um, yeah, that's it. Those are the foundational ones. That means I'm holding it for five to 10 years. So the medium layer, okay, the middle one is Skills, Iro, HOL, Sonics, Plug, and X1. These are the new plays I got in on, all right? These are the new ones. Of all of these, and this is the medium layer, the ones in this layer I put in 30% of the money, okay? 50% went foundation, 30% went to the middle. What you, and really, I'm making this very 
generous and liberal. If you are new to investing, quite honestly, you shouldn't be putting... Because think of it, my frosting layer on the top is 20%. So I have penny stocks are 20% of my portfolio. That's highly risky. I want you to understand that this is highly risky to have your penny stocks be 20% of your portfolio. Okay. Realistically, I think 15 is the max, max. Uh, Quite honestly, it really depends on where you are in investing. And if you haven't, if you've like, if you've been in it before and you, and you know, this is not as much money for your portfolio overall. So that's why I feel okay doing this. If you're a beginner, I don't want any more than 10% in pennies, okay? Go relook at your portfolio, see how it's all looking. I don't want any more than 10% if you're here in shrewd stocks, all right? So those are going to be my medium plays. Of the ones here, Plug is probably the riskiest one that I have. They had that financial, um, they have to do a financial restatement where basically a lot of the stuff that they put out in their previous reports were kind of... I want to say it's been kind of suspicious. So they have to re, um, basically, so they have the partnerships with like Amazon, Walmart, NASA. And yeah, they have them. They have those contracts there. But the problem is the way they kind of worded how much the contracts were valued at, it's kind of misleading in the sense where they were giving out warrant shares of, of their, of plug. So it's not that they actually got the money completely like that. And so it, it misled some, investors and that's why this is probably the riskier one that i have so i put in like a stop um a trailing stop loss on this i put in i think it was like 10 percent on this one trailing stop loss for plug x1 this is one i've been talking about now for a few days and i've been telling you <laughs> 3d printing guys this is not just regular 3d printing this is met- metal 3d printing huge 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 so uh they have contracts with the military already and this is just in my opinion, this is a very good uh, long-term or even medium-term hold. So I'm in that one, CTXR, CTRM. You guys, you know me on this thing. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna continue just repeating everything I say in the other videos. So those are my penny plays. These two, these, this one, and this one. These are my, uh, you know, frosting layer. And with that said, like CTXR, remember what I was saying? End of April. That's when they're expecting the phase three results to come out. So that's the next catalyst I'm expecting to see. CTRM, next catalyst, we're looking at their um, earnings, earnings coming out, you know, and that date has been changed. You know, you look at my previous, it said like March 23rd, then I forgot what the other one, now it's April 5th. So, but it's, that's the next catalyst we can expect, all right? Um, other one I want to say, guys, <laughs> remember, I told you like a week ago, I should have gone in on Cynodyne for my uh, penny stock play, but this was like the Netflix of uh, China, if you want to think of it that way. And they're expanding a lot of places. I have a lot of DD that was done on this. Man, I don't know. I, sh- I was between uh, CTRM and Cynodyne when I was looking at which uh, penny plays I wanted to go in last week. And I went against my gut, <laughs> quite honestly. I should have done the one where I had more DD done on, which was Cynodyne and whatever. I, You know, whatever. I, m- I, m- I messed that one up. So I don't want to say I messed it up, but... It would have been nice to see a lot of green today. (laughs) Let's just say that. So, you know, um, I think that's really, this is all I just wanted to go over. Like, look, the portfolio is getting restructured. Um, I'm the foundation, middle, and frosting. That's how I'm basing it. And that's how I want you guys to kind of mimic yours. Foundation, uh, foundation, middle, frosting. I'm doing 50, 30, 20. You can adjust it a little bit. You know, you get like 10% of wiggle room here and there, but keep it around that range. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't, don't go too heavy in the penny stock plays. And because, you know, this is the thing I've noticed. A lot of the investors, you know, if you're beginning to invest, guys, you cannot be looking at penny stock plays to double up, home run. I know the YouTube videos, if you search anything, it looks very attractive that like, oh, you know, double up your money. These stocks will double up no matter. Guys, this is not how you do it. You know, when you begin, if this was the case, if this was the case, let me tell you something. Don't you think Jeff Bezos, Warren Buffett would be in them? And they would, why, why would Warren Buffett not put his money in there? Why wouldn't he put 50 million in Zometica? Why wouldn't he put it like 2 billion? You know, it's nothing for them. Guys, if that was the case, they would double up their money, right? You have to think of it like that. This is not how you begin to invest, all right? And that's why in the Discord, I have the link in the, in the description below where we talk about all of these plays and how we want to, uh, you know, how we want to play for the next day and moves that are going up and down and, you know, we go through all of this, guys. It is one of the most supportive and probably one of the best discords out there. And I don't say that lightly because let me tell you, 
in that Discord, it does not make a difference whether you're a beginner, you're experienced, intermediate, wherever you are. Every single person there is taking their investment journey seriously and we are helping each other. And that's really what I want to emphasize. If you don't know what you're doing in the stock market, you don't even know any of this, you need a place to begin. And in my opinion, that's what I would do if I was in your shoes. But hey, I'm not, I can't speak for you on that, on that behalf. You can continue to go after penny play after penny play and see how that, that might work out. So all that said, guys, I just want to wrap up the video. And I just want you to know, like, I hate seeing people get burned in the market. I really do because, you know, I've made these mistakes myself and I've been investing for a long time and I made this whole channel so that you guys don't have to lose money because I've lost it already, you know? Um, so let me lose the money and I can teach you the lessons that I've learned along the way. This is not something you're going to read in a book. So I get, that's why I emphasize some of this so much. And honestly, I'm, so, I'm kind of sorry that I've been pretty bad with the uploads lately. Uh, I've been, you know, doing them a little late and, you know, recording. I just had uh, some personal stuff go on recently with, uh, you know, some of my, like, relationships and stuff like that. So it's been, like, weighing on me. Plus, with, like, med school, I had an exam yesterday. It's just been a little bit busy for me, and I'm, I'm really sorry I haven't been keeping up with, uh, with the family here. And I'm going to fix that. I'm going to fix that because, quite honestly, you guys are... You guys are one of very supportive, supportive communities here. And I owe, I owe it to you guys at the very least. All right. So I'm going to call it now. I'm going to call it now. I'm going to see my mood. My mood has shifted. My mood and my mind has shifted. I'm calling it now. Tomorrow's going to be green. Tomorrow's going to be green. All right. So let me know down below what your thoughts are. You think tomorrow's going to be green or red? Let me know. And you know what we do here. If it's green, we wear the green shirts. And if it's red, we wear the red shirts. I have that link down there for Shrewd Stock merch. Go take a look if you want. Uh, and that's that's kind of how we run things over here. On green days, we wear green shirts. Red days, we wear the red ones. So with all that said, you know what I'm going to say? Stay happy, stay healthy, and let's get wealthy. All right, take care.